Hi, this is Northern Lights Music. We're at the Bourgeois booth. I'm here with Andrew, uh, design manager and artist relations. Uh, Andrew's going to tell us a little bit about the amazing custom uh, features that they're putting on guitars these days. Here you go, Andrew. All right. Yeah, so we did a whole run of what we call Luthier's Choice Guitars this year for NAMM um, to really step up and show what we can do in our Lewiston shop. Uh, this first guitar here, um, Dana's known always as the the OM king, being that this is his 45th year. We put together a really special Brazilian rosewood OM with an amazing inlay pattern, this bouquet pattern by Alson Inlays down in Maryland. Um, stepping down the line here, this is a new model that we've come up with. Uh, this, I believe, is the fourth or fifth one that we've done. We call it the Odyssey OMSC. It's a 12 fret cutaway offset rosette is something that I came up with. And Dana and I spun off the rest of it, basically trying to outdo each other. And uh, really came up with something I find to be pretty classy. Uh, this guitar, as well, has an arm bevel which is the first thing that we've done um, this year. This one in particular also has a sound port. Um, <clears throat> really special guitar. Moving down the line here, this is our Luthier's Choice SJ, a small jumbo. I've been looking at this guitar for a long time, picturing it with an oval hole. I decided to draw one out, and I really feel like it, it, it fits the body perfectly. This rosette came as uh, uh, it was inspired by something that Dana found on old Stradivarius violins, so we added that to the mix as well. Uh, it gives it a really cool old school vibe. And then we get down to this green guitar. We've done a whole bunch of white rabbits. Uh, we decided what's next. We've done black, we've done natural. We said, let's do green. Usually, these mother of pearl boards are filled with abalone inlays. This time, I took it a step further and went with jade and opal in the inlay pattern, in the rosette. These are pieces of recon stone, jade and opal. Added these presentation blocks to the holly bridge. And uh, it really ties the whole thing together. It's a really cool guitar. This one on the end is something that Dana and I worked on uh, in collaboration with Andy Falco of the infamous String Dusters to reimagine the Dread. Um, the Dreadnought has not really been reinvented uh, ever. So we decided to give this one an arm bevel, the oval hole. We've done a lot of large sound hole OMs, large sound hole Dreads. We just reimagined this one, giving it basically an offset look. Everything is in line with this cutaway, a new headstock shape, a new logo. It's a thinner body, it's a double X-brace back to compensate for that thinner body, so it's smaller, more comfortable to play, but you're not losing any output. Uh, very cool guitar, I don't know if you've had a chance to play that one yet. Going into the design side of the NAMM collection, I said I was gonna do something along the lines of the old advanced SJs, and Gibson on the old arch tops, L5s, L4s, used to do a thing called a picture frame, uh, with banjo inlays, and it was something I've been wanting to do on guitars for 20 years. Uh, so I came up with this design. Part of this comes from our presentation inlay pattern, and I just expanded on it. Similar to a bin banjo style inlay, I call it our shadow boxes. So they're um, cream binding with cocobolo blocks, and then mother of pearl inside of that. Same, the, the headstock is very century of progress, like you said, uh, it's Dana and I worked on that to get that shape together. Um, and the cocobolo grain runs all the way down. And then I added it to the rectangle bridge with a through saddle. Uh, just a classy old take on the advanced jumbo, basically. Awesome, thanks Andrew. Yeah, you bet.